T.I., it's good to see you again, my man. You know, last time we saw each other, H-Town. Okay. And you're doing movies, and now I'm doing television. What's going on? Is the world... Uh... Well, it's not, I mean, I guess that the universe is, is shifting in some Maybe I was the ways. only one left. <laughs> Maybe, you know, that's what I think about me. <laughs> no, but let's talk about that because, you know, you've been on my radio show several times. Mm -hmm. and, and the fact that you've transitioned, and you're not just getting just any roles. You're getting, and you've got some big stuff coming up, which we'll talk about in a minute. Right. But when did you get the acting bug? Because we never talked about this on the radio, and now I want to know. Probably ATL, you know, okay. after my first film. Right. Uh, I mean, I, I just, I was drawn to it. It's a different, it's a different sense of expression and, and, and a different way to... Uh, to, 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 to feed my creative evolution. It is, and you're doing great, man. So Thank this you. one, how do you work with a cast like this, though? Because honestly, I've known Kevin for a while yeah. as well, and he's hilarious. So. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. He actually knows my mom, too. Oh, yeah, man, so, oh, yeah. it gets worse and worse. It does. <laughs> he still talks to me. But no, but I mean, how do you do a film like this and you kind of keep a you know, straight face because your character is a little, little hard in this one. So I yeah. mean... Uh, I mean, man, th to be honest with you, what, what I already had to bring to the table and, and, and what I was able to, to, to draw from, from the environment and the tone that was set by these two guys, it became very, very easy. It became almost effortless. Did you laugh? I mean, because if I'm... Several times. Because I want to know, the, I think the outtakes are probably going to be just oh, as man. funny as the film. Hey, man, I mean, there was one, there was one scene where it's off camera, and you hear me voice over, but it was actually a scene where I'm looking at, I'm looking at uh, Will's character, uh, 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 James, in his eyes. And I'm basically just kind of going over with him all of the things that he should keep in mind before he <laughs> enters into this new lifestyle. And as I'm doing this, it's a very serious scene where I'm supposed to straight face tell him, you know, and. And he just threw back the most hilarious things. And I tried to keep a straight face. I ended up crying in that particular tape. That's and, hilarious. Yeah. That's good. I can't wait to see those on the outtakes yeah, when man. the home release comes out. All right, we got to bring it up. Because okay. I got to ask about paperwork. This is going to be a trilogy, you know, because we got to talk music. Of it course. is, it yeah. is, it is a trilogy. And the second installment, man, I already have it done. You do? I do. I can't wait. A couple other things you have coming up, dude. Entourage and Ant Man. Yeah. So, dude, that's Entourage. Time. Entourage, man. You know, just a, 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 a one of my favorite franchises, um, and I was honored to even be asked to be included into the 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 one scene cameo, uh, the one scene cameo crew that they have. Uh, but you know what I'm saying, I think that my scene is one of the funniest of the film, so you know, enjoy it. And Ant-Man, to be a part of the Marvel comic book family, it's a huge, huge, huge franchise, man. Just, and, I mean, Paul Rudd did an amazing job. It was uh, Michael Pena, uh, David Deschmalchen, um Michael Douglas. Uh, it's just an awesome way to just kind of throw $250 million around. Like, I, I couldn't... I couldn't have thought of a better way to spend 250.